we got a lot going on. Have you started? I'm started, buddy. I thought you were going to get coffee. I'm going to get coffee right now. But we're right. starting it because I feel like I want to have coffee with our people. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, let's, let's do this first. Good morning. How are you doing? <clears throat> Good. Would you like to hire a spot for me to decaf? Please? Uh, no, no, no decaf this morning. Just the uh, large hot medium. Sure. Yeah. Also, uh, what would you get? Large hot regular coffee. Oh. Pumpkin and cream. <laughs> it's it's pumpkin time. Pumpkin time. Uh, sure, give me one of those two. Make it two of those, please. Yeah. Sure. That's it. All right, thanks, Rachel. Do you own this place? Do you own this place? Did you know? I don't know if y'all could tell, but you, I pulled tell. up and she she knew my order. Who drinks decaf? My wife. <laughs> Lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> that was just question. Who drinks decaf? Cow Cowboys don't drink decaf. No, she's going to be a horrible cowboy one day. Yeah, she is. We drink caffeine, stay up all night long, and broke cattle in the dark. <laughs> is that what y'all do? Mm -hmm. Is that what cowboys do these That's days? what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to bed at 8 o'clock, but I'm trying to get to that where I stay up all night and rope cattle in the dark. Rope, rope and cattle in the dark. Rope and cattle in the dark. We can write that, can't we? Sure. Would y'all listen to that if we wrote rope and cattle in the dark? Sure. I like it. You sure that Brian and, and Garth haven't already written that? <laughs> you and me roping We're cattle, cattle in, in the dark. <laughs> um, hey, just put this on me. On you? Me yeah, put it Can on me. Can you just me. charge it to him? Sure, just put it on me. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, oh they, you, they know right. you, but they don't know me. <laughs> the girl's head was about to explode. <laughs> she just stared at you. Like... I don't know a cowboy. Here's your change. Thank you. Thank <laughs> She's you. all business. Why'd you pay cash? I don't know. I got flipped. My, there we go. There. So thank you. Thank you, guys so much. Thank you. you too. See you later. Here you go. There you go. I lose your phone. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, um, all right. We, I got flustered. So obviously, these are Langdon's people because when he said put it on me, <laughs> She was staring, glaring at me through her mask. Like that's that's ridiculous. Right. He doesn't have an account no. here. No, <laughs> never seen that man before. Mm. Can you get a charge account at, at uh, Duncan? Uh, probably hey, do people so. call them charge accounts anymore? Remember, I don't know. like yeah. when it was Leggett's and uh, and Montgomery Ward. You know, you had a charge account. Right. Um, yeah. I don't think I bought my first my first piece of furniture at Montgomery Ward's. I had a. I got my house. I was. How old are you? I don't know. Like eight? <laughs> I was going to say. When, no, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Your first piece of furniture at Montgomery Ward, you yeah. must have been young. Yeah, well, it, it hadn't been around my, in a my while. My parents asked me to move out mm -hmm. when I was about fourth grade. And, uh, but yeah, I bought a love seat, a couch, and a, and a chair at Montgomery Ward. Gosh, it was so good. Is that when you had those uh, seat the covers that were made out of feed sacks? <laughs> That's it. I do remember You that. remember those? Yeah, I do remember that because yeah. that barley... That seat with the barley sack was it would hard. Your neck it would itch you... your neck when you when you lean back on it. Yeah, I do remember that. Good old days. Wow. Good stuff. I do remember the Montgomery Wards though when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Do you know like one of the one of the only things that I remember about Montgomery Wards is uh, thermal underwear. Okay, you probably have so, to explain a little more. So, well, you know, I think. I think if our families are good at anything else, you know, besides the music business, yeah, they did. It was preparing, good. right? Yeah, they're 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 right. Very prepare for the details, prepare for things, right? Right. Uh, and I remember Dad taking me to Montgomery Wards because we were going to have some Sub Zero weather. Right. It was coming in. It, we were going to get, you know, because it doesn't happen a lot here, but it was going to get to zero or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we went and bought some thermal underwear. He wanted you to be warm and ready. <laughs> It was the, the white waffle. Oh, yes. Thermal yeah. underwear. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess the waffle weave of that, is, so, um, is that, did that make it warmer or is that part of the design or something? Or I, I never got it. All thermal wear is waffle line. Good. All of it is? All of it is. Wow. And, uh, oh my God, you better slow down because that guy, he's taking radar. He is. What is the speed limit? It's 35 through here. Oh, okay. And I'm it right. is hard to do 35 through here. I'm doing Hello. 74. Nothing would be better, though, than if he pulled us over. That would be fun. That would be good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there used to be all thermal underwear, and now we got waffle <laughs> fries at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. It's the same engineer it's, probably it's, came it's, up with those. Oh, it just, it just blows, my, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. 
like that girl who I said that Duncan. Right. And I, I said put it on his tab. And she just She's like he doesn't have a charge account. She just stared. Right. So anyway, uh, uh, let's get this over with. We got to leave today. We do, and yeah. uh, we we have to leave today. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're excited about leaving today, yeah, because we want to share with you all that tomorrow night, which is Thursday, yeah, we are going to be on the Grand Old Opry. Yes, sir. Opry mm -hmm. Country Classic. We're pumped. You know, I'm so. I they've been doing that for years, but I'm so glad that they do this show. Mm -hmm. uh, so many months a year. I don't know how what it runs. It usually starts like in the fall. Doesn't it? Um, starts in the fall or ends in the fall. Maybe it ends in the fall. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're gonna be there. But yeah. the whole show is centered around uh, classic country music. You've got to do classic country songs. Yeah. And since we do that, it was right. pretty easy for us to pick songs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's always great when you get a call from um, the Opry, and that's what we got last week. Yeah. Uh, inviting us to come and be on tomorrow night. So yeah, we really consider any call from Nashville that they let us play music inside the city limits. Yeah, as uh, something fun to do. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to be on, and I and you know what, we'll post it. Uh, I know WSM online yeah. carries that show probably. Right. I don't think it's televised. Uh, maybe on Circle Network. Maybe. Which is kind of a regional thing for in in the Tennessee area, from my understanding. But, um, uh, yeah. I, you know what? I get Circle on uh, Roku. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's more than just the regional area. Okay. It's Roku. All right. So um, anyway, if we get any of that information, we'll certainly put it up. But uh, we're excited yes. about uh, being on the, the Opry. And uh, then Friday morning, um, we're going to go over and visit with Bill Cody at WSM. Yes, sir. Coffee Cody and Country. And Country and Coffee Cody. 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern. And uh, Mountain and Pacific, you'll have to figure out for yourself. Yeah, our math didn't go that high. That's just yeah. too much to try to figure out early in the morning. But we're going to swing on by and visit with Bill. Yes. Bill, uh, by the way, he's awesome. He's one of the, he, you know, he's on that list of one of the nicest guys in the world. He is. Mm hmm Yeah. Um... Well, I, you know what? I don't. I think it's it's cool that we make we tell people stuff like this. Uh -huh. But but you and I talk about people that we run into. Yeah. And Bill Cody's one of them, the nicest guy in the world. He is. He's on the short list with Phil Balsley. Yeah. Phil. And Steve Warner. Yes. Right. Seriously, we talk about this a lot. Those are like three of the nicest people. <laughs> and not that. I and mean, if we if we left you off no. that list. Yeah, it's not if, that. If you're not one of those three, it's not like you're not a nice person. No, no, no. We, we got to explain our psyche. It, we, we're nice people. It's not that. And we know a lot of nice people. Mm -hmm. But these are like ultra mm -hmm. nice people. Yeah. Always got a smile on their face. Yes. You can just feel the generosity. You can just feel. It just oozes from. Them. It oozes from them like. Like with most people, you know, that doesn't come first sometimes, right. you know? Right. You might be in a bad mood. Yeah. But those guys, you just don't ever see it. No. And when you're around somebody like Steve Warner, you know, and, and we're, we're we're a fan of his music and his writing and, of course, his guitar playing. And mm -hmm. and we've come over the years to become friends with him. And, and you talk to him and you, you just say something, like, mm -hmm. nice. Like, oh, man, Steve, you... <laughs> Did a remember that song you did and, was, and and his reply is, oh man y'all are great, <laughs> y'all are so great. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a, a first nature with some people. You yeah, know, they just but like you said, they just ooze with niceness, right? So on our short list, yeah, Bill Cody. So we're gonna be with one of the nicest people we know this he is. this coming week. He's a good dude. Yeah. Um, Maybe so, we could take Phil with us and swing by and see Steve Warner and make it I, a trifecta. I would love for that to happen, but yeah. it won't. No. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, mm -hmm. but it's fun to talk about. It is fun to talk about. Um, and, and, and it is still fun to talk about that we're going to be on the Grand Ole Opry. Did we mention that? Yeah. Tomorrow night? Yeah. Who else is going to be on there with us? Um, well, I just <clears> read the ad, uh, and um, the Bellamy brothers are going to be there, I think. I love those guys. Uh, and I think the Malpai is going to be there. The Malpai's brothers. Yep, I do too. And the Gatlin fellas. Uh, and the Gatlin brothers. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's brothers and cousins. It is. I just realized we're not brothers. How'd we, how'd we get on that show? Uh, well, we fight like brothers. Okay. So maybe that's why. Maybe Very good. That. Right. And we play classic country music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We'll it be, is. We'll be drinking some coffee. Oh. We'll be visiting with Bill on Friday morning. Always. And we'll be uh, playing some classic country music on Thursday night at the Grand Ole Opera. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. 
Yes. Uh, I'm excited now. Oh, and, and you know what? Uh, now that we're plugging, so then the following weekend, <clears throat> next weekend? Yes. 22nd uh, and 23rd. Yes. We'll be back in Tennessee. Yep. At the station in Miser Station, Tennessee. Uh -huh. It's in Louisville, Tennessee, isn't it? Uh, I think so. In that area? Yeah. yeah. Uh, tucked away <laughs> out in the the country. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great venue. We played it a, fun a venue. few times before, and it's yeah. always uh, uh, it's a great intimate setting. Yeah. Out in, in almost kind of, I mean, you got to know where you're going to get there. Oh, yeah. Uh, but a really cool setting. Yeah. Um, so we've got two nights booked there. Um, yeah, it's actually so far out. you got to park off the road and walk through a cornfield. Until you get to a waterfall, yeah, and then when you get to the waterfall, you've got to uh, turn over a rock, yeah, and there's a compass there, yeah, and then the compass will—I forgot give about you, all this. The this compass will give you the direction to, to these right. huge vines, to the vines that you've got to scale. <clears throat> then you scale the vines. Once you scale the vines, you'll reach a rock ledge. Then you'll reach like this ledge made of rock, right? And then from there, from there, uh, you kind of you scurry off. On top of this ledge you until scurry? you can see you scurry. scurry. Then you, sc you, you scurry, scurry off of this ledge, yeah. and that's just to to detour the um, <laughs> the rodents. But that's another part of the story. You scurry off of the ledge, you off the, the rock, and ledge. you look, and you got to look way out far to see where your car parked. Right, and uh, and then you realize you're in the wrong place. <laughs> So we hope y'all come see us. <laughs> but that's Miser Station. That's Miser Station. Yeah, that's going to be next weekend. Yeah. Um, but now I think we're retiring. No. No. No, we're going to make <laughs> cruise and stuff. We'll talk about that later. We will. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I think uh, since we're heading out today, I need to pack some clothes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, you'd probably need to go home and pack some thermal underwear. i got to pack my thermals. <laughs> and you want them. And you could take that furniture from Montgomery Ward? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All so right. we'll probably need to get a U-Haul and mm -hmm. so we can get everything in there. All right. Uh, but this is fun. Be sure to tune in and listen to us tomorrow and I, night. And I rented us two go-karts to go to Nashville. Oh, this would be fun. Uh-huh. But they, yes. got, they got boxes on the back for our stuff. Okay. So we got storage. Yeah. That's good. I, 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 yeah, I bet I'll get there before you do. <laughs> I bet you won't. <laughs> get there. Um, All so right. So we'll stay in touch with you while we're gone. Uh, maybe a video here and there to come. I'm sure something hey, silly will happen. Do you know what's funny? We never did the intro, so let's do it now. Let's do it now, mm -hmm. and then we'll then we'll be done. Then we'll be done. Okay. Okay. You ready? You ready? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Will Reed, and I'm Langdon Reed, and we are Wilson Fairchild, and this is it. Uh, can we go over to the Nashville Insider YouTube channel? I'd love to. How do we do it? Click the button click click the button it's easy as that That's get it. all of the latest and coolest country music news go to nashville insider and subscribe to this youtube channel so you get our updates every week